Hello, my name is Jim Koner. I'm a periodontist here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm thrilled to be able to share this material with you because crown lengthening is one of my very favorite topics and a significant way that periodontics can help you as restorative dentists to get better results. I also teach some workshops, so if you're interested in learning about how to do these procedures, I'll give you an opportunity to learn about that at the end. So what I want to do to begin is for you to pretend that Pat has recently come into your office. In her hand, she has this maxillary bridge, a full arch 12 unit bridge in her hand. And she tells you that she and her husband have just moved from New Jersey, and this bridge kept falling off when she lived in New Jersey as well. The question I ask at the workshop is, how many of you think your cement is gonna be better than the cement in New Jersey to put this bridge back in? And it's quite clear that our cements aren't going to be any better. So therefore, we're going to learn about what the problem is that caused these bridges, this bridge to come off, and what we can do to make a new one more stable. I'd also like you to pretend that Barry recently came into your office. He just moved from Chicago. And he tells you that ever since he had this crown made, eight years ago that the tooth has been sensitive. And he wants to know, can you make me a better crown? Now you're gonna look at that open margin and say, of course, Barry, I can make you a better crown. But what if I told you the open margin was not the problem? What if I told you there was something else? Do you see it? Do you know what it is and how to correct it? Today, I hope to point that out to you. 